Maranatha, page 174. Arms Conflict in the Last Days, June 15th. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. Soon grievous troubles will arise among the nations, trouble that will not cease until Jesus comes. As never before, we need to press together, serving Him who has prepared His throne in the heavens, and whose kingdom ruleth over all. God has not forsaken His people, and our strength lies in not forsaking Him. The judgments of God are in the land, the wars and rumors of wars, the destruction of fire and flood, say clearly that the time of trouble, which is to increase until the end, is very near at hand. We have no time to lose. The world is stirred with the spirit of war. The prophecies of the 11th of Daniel have almost reached their final fulfillment. Soon strife among the nations will break out with an intensity that we do not now anticipate. The present is a time of overwhelming interest in all living, rulers and statesmen, men who occupy positions of trust and authority, thinking men and women of all classes, have their attention fixed upon the events taking place about us. They are watching the strained, restless relations that exist among the nations. They observe the intensity that is taking possession of every earthly element, and they realize that something great and decisive is about to take place, that the world is on the verge of a stupendous crisis. A moment of respite has been graciously given us of God. Every power lent us of heaven is now to be used in working for those perishing in ignorance. There must be no delay. The truth must be proclaimed in the dark places of the earth. A great work is to be done. And to those who know the truth for this time, this work has been entrusted. In the last scenes of this earth's history, war will rage. There will be pestilence, plague, and famine. The waters of the deep will overflow their boundaries. Property and life will be destroyed by fire and flood. We should be preparing for the mansions that Christ has gone to prepare for them that love Him. There is a rest from earth's conflict.